You know, as you know, the theme for this Le Web is the Internet of Things. We've started with, with Green Mama talking about their Internet of Things. We just heard about a social solution. This next company kind of combines that to create a social network of things. So please welcome Linkos Technologies. Hello, good morning, everyone. My name is Javier Marcipar. I am one of the co-founders of Linkos. Let me start saying thank you to all of you because this great chance to present our company here. It's an amazing opportunity for us. So thank you very much. I am sure we all hear about uh, the, the potential evolution of Internet of Things during the next years. But for sure, we will, we will face that we will have every time more and more things connected to Internet. This, of course, may, be, uh, may bring us a lot of opportunities for business and new challenges in the technology part of the question. So let's see one of the classical examples of what the Internet of Things may bring us in the future, starting from our table clock that will connect to our bed to order it to vibrate to wake us up, or our pillow that will detect when we wake up and order our shower to switch on, and of course our closet that will suggest our clothes of the day according to the weather forecast or our agenda. So this is just a simple example but what is important to think about is that every time we will have more and more objects connected to Internet. So the real question here is how they commun will communicate one to the other. How the clock will order the bed to wake you up. And of course, um, only the capability of each of them to connect to his own server will not be enough. We will need much more than that. We will need the interconnection of these servers and all these things in order to offer the final users a very simple application to handle and to manage his social network of things. Thank you. So I bring here another simple example. This is a, tab a simple tabletop lamp which was connected to internet and to our platform with links. If I touch one of them, the other one over there is reacting. So I can change the color again or switch it off. And more than that, both lamps are connected to our server and to Twitter. So if you send us a tweet, you will see that they will make a short performance. This is a very simple example. It's not very exciting, really. But let's think what is behind of this. In every of these lamps, we include a small circuit with some connection drivers that allow to control every of the inputs and outputs of the thing. Someone is tweeting. So when an event is detected, it connects through a protocol to our server. We have the capability to communicate with other devices, objects, and social network. And of course, in the top of all these uh, developments, we have a very simple to use interface that allows the users to connect their things and to give simple orders to them. And basically, this is links. So it's a complete platform that allows the interoperability of objects connected to the cloud. So connecting things to this system, you will be, you will be um, able to hear, to speak with the object, and to give order to them in a very easy and natural way. That's why some months ago we decided to create the company, because we really think that there will be an increasing necessity and needs in the market, and that we ha could have a good solution for that. So we will work very hard in order to convert links in one of the reference platforms for the interoperability of the things in the net. Our business model is based first in the manufacturers. We will ask them and we will convince them that to integrate their connected object to links will be good for them, that they will get added value and, more inter and can offer more interoperability to their customers. And of course, we expect with this added value we will get money for that. But in the other hand, once millions of things will be connected to internet, for sure we will, we will need more applications in order to give special orders to all these things. For that, we will provide to any developer in the world enough applications and technologies to, to develop applications for these connected things in our platform. And of course, we think to market this application in our bazaar and of course, we will give free licenses for developers, for end users, and for those 
that want to try this technology and trust that this could be a good solution for them. We have the aim to have one million things connected to our platform in the next three or four years. And for that, we create a very strong roadmap, which include investment, a very strong marketing and communication plan, and of course, a very strong development plan for our platform. We already have our first beta, ter, beta version of the platform full operative. And in the next two or three months, we will launch our first commercial version of Links. I just want to recall that during these days and, and this roadmap, we will need, of course, investment. We will need a lot of support to promote our, our system. But of course, what, what we need are developers and final users that trust in this technology to include the value of their things connected to internet. And more or less, this is all. Thank you very much. All right, you're beating me to the, to the punch here. I'm going to give you that. Thank you for your efficient demonstration, your presentation, and we'll turn it over to the judges. So first, I think that was an absolutely fantastic presentation. I love the uh, cartoon, so well done. Um, I think uh, you have you have something that's particularly interesting, especially for kind of the uh, the do-it-yourself at home community. Um, so, so my first thing would just be to recommend that instead of going after large manufacturers at first, you go after the hobbyists. But my biggest question is around how do you actually grow these sorts of platforms? Namely, you're not showing a best-in-class device yourself. You're not building out one example that demonstrates the value of your platform. You're going straight after kind of large companies that might not necessarily want to sign deals with an unproven startup. What is it that gets your platform to be enormous? Is it just that it's so good and there's no other platform that nobody has the choice but to use it, which is kind of what Twilio saw? Or is it that you can actually demonstrate really strong use cases yourself? Um, okay, there are, this is part of our strategy, okay? So we will provide with our own um, link port, what we call this uh, circuit, but the platform is prepared to connect to any kind of device that have a driver on that. So nowadays, for example, we have connection already with the, with the platform as it is, with um, BlackBerry, um, with Arduino, with um, BlackBerry P, Raspberry Pi, so, sorry, and many others, and of course to our one. But this is the, the key here, is that the development that we have done, it's enough open to allow any kind of, of uh, device with a certain logic circuit to include a driver, a special driver to connect to our uh, system. So this is one of the key aspects of our company. We want an open platform, it's not a closed platform, that will allow the inter interconnectivity of a lot of different kind of things. And the second thing that is important here is that we will give to the, any, any developer in the world all the tools to create applications for this platform. So this will, be, this will uh, allow the community to grow and the interoperability and the interconnection of a lot of things together. I don't know if this is more or less. Tom? Um, for the, uh, I can understand the, 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 you build a platform that developers can link into. How do you also make it user-friendly enough and sort of consistent enough that end users know how to do things on it? We are working on that. <laughs> but it, of course, of course, it will not be easy, but, suppose, but we will focus on that. I suppose we, the consistency across all those different apps. Yes, th there will be two different levels. In one level, we will have all the, um, all the platform. And in another level, in the top of that, all these applications that can be developed for every developer or every um, a user in particular, if they want. So with this platform, even a normal user can create and can, can see in the platform his object connected to the platform and give order, very simple order to that, for that. If we evolve, someone can create an application to simplify that, which will be compatible with our platform. So we expect that the developers that will come in the future will work on that too, to, to offer very simple solution to the users for some niche applications. Good. Tom. So, so what would be the cost to the consumer? Uh, we really don't know <laughs> yet. We are uh, working in our business model, but what we know is that um, we, some manufacturers will have to pay 
if they want to integrate our link port in their objects, or they have to pay for accessing to the system of the platform if they use their own uh, circuit and, and our drivers. But we don't have really, really clear enough the, um, the business model related to the payments and so on. We are studying and working, working hard on that. Do you, do you know yet, um, have you yet thought of a kind of what is going to be, perhaps it's the lambs, but your, your killer app that shows off your platform that could lead to rapid adoption? It feels like you need some vertical or some focus initially. Yes, yes, of course. And we are under negotiation with several companies that want to integrate links uh, in their uh, products that they plan to launch during next year. But we don't have enough um, confirmation to tell you now. But some of these companies we are negotiating, it's going to the um, uh, streaming of internet in the web, another one for um, uh, simplify some things at home. But we are, we are looking for this this great alliance. And we have some contacts already open for that. Okay, we'll take one really quick question if you'll promise a really quick answer. Okay. Go. I think, I think what you're hearing kind of collectively from us is that whereas this is a really strong engineering platform, there's still kind of that marketing pitch. Like, how do I just sell this to people, right? Have you thought about, like, what's the angle to my mother about what you're doing? Um, yeah, okay. We expect with this platform, to allow your mother or anyone to have in a very integrated way all the things connected one to the other. It's a very simple way to integrate things from different manufacturers. This is the end. The short answer to the question is hire a great marketer. Okay? That's the answer he's looking for. Right? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Brilliant engineers need a great marketer. Go see them if you have the job for them. Thank you very much. Thank you.